What's up, guys? So today we got Campus here with Terrence Williams, 96 overall run and pound style. This guy was amazing. Now, let's get to the stats real quick. 6 foot 2, 95 speed, 97 catch, 93 release, 91 jump, 99 catching traffic, 96 spectacular, 78 elusiveness, and 96 route running. Also has a 92 juke, an 85 spin, and a 91 jump. Now, when I did that Dre Archer review, you know, my expectations were so high, so I was very surprised to see him, you know, like play so poorly. Now with Terrence Williams, it was the other way around, you know, I did not expect too much from him, but the guy blew me away. You know, he was putting Julio Jones to shame, and yes, I know that's a bold statement, but I'm just telling you what I saw. It was ridiculous, the, you know, the amount of catches he was uh, catching, but anyways, enough about that. Let me show you what I saw. So Williams will always be on the left side, just so you guys know, so you don't lose him on the field. Now, he was definitely a, a great route runner, as you can see here. But I do notice that, you know, pretty much everyone in head-to-head -head nowadays, they rarely run outs and curls. The only route you see nowadays are slants, drags, C routes, and posts. That's really about it. You don't really see anything else. So let me know, guys, if you want me to just stop getting my guys to run outs and curls and just stick to those uh, C routes and slants and drags. Seeing that that's pretty much what everybody runs nowadays anyways. Now, as far as his run blocking, he was definitely a solid run blocker assuming he was going against corners i saw him struggle a lot with linebackers but that, you know uh, that's to be expected so if you line up against the linebacker don't expect him to uh, block that linebacker for too long now this right here he was definitely not a deep threat i mean he caught a few passes here and there i think i threw to him deep like maybe 17 times when he caught like four of them so he may have his moments here and there but definitely not something that you should depend on now as far as getting off the press that was something I did see him struggle a bit with. Let's say you press him like 10 times, he would probably only get off that press like maybe twice, maybe three times, and that's just not a great percentage. So if you see he's getting pressed, you may have to just hope for good blocking to give him time to uh, develop that route that he's running. Now this right here, I'm actually going to show you every bad play that he had because I did play a full season with him, including the playoffs, and I did win the Super Bowl. In all those games, of course, I did lean on him. So these are all the bad plays from the entire season. And you might think, like, like man, these are a lot of bad plays, but keep in mind, this is from an entire season, you know, of just abusing him. So you, you know, for me, honestly, this is just amazing because, like I said, he definitely put Julio Jones to shame even though you might not believe it <laughs> with these plays right here but I'm just showing you every bad play that he had all season because I was surprised that I was actually able to fit all those plays in this video and still keep it fairly short so I think that was definitely worth mentioning and this right here is what he did best this is how I think that he put Julio Jones to shame catching and traffic which is what it, you know I just need that one receiver that I can lean on in a clutch a situation and actually hold on to the ball on the way down now I'm not trying to say, you know, that Julio Jones is a trashy receiver and, like, never try him. Of course, you know, he will shine for, you know, in certain moments. But for me, honestly, you know, I would much rather trust Williams. Like, right here, fourth down, fourth and 19, got to be clutch, came down with it. And that was something, you know, that I saw a lot. And something I definitely saw, you know, even more was catching the ball high, getting body slammed, and still holding on to it. And I don't know what causes this, you know, I don't know if it's like a secret trait. I don't know what makes him play so much better than Julio Jones for me. I know, of course, this time, you know, it cannot be my my uh, team style ground and pound. I'm sure it has nothing to do with catching and traffic and all that. So if one of you guys know, you know, please tell me so I can, you know, pick the right receivers from now on. If he has some kind of like hidden trait that I don't know about. But as you can see right here, man, so dependable catching and traffic had way more um, positive catches as you can see in fact there were so many catches that I actually had to pull back some of them just to keep the video short so that's how well he played for me so if you guys pick up Terrence Williams let me know how he plays for you I'm very interested to see if he plays as good for for everyone else as, as he did for me so anyways Terrence Williams man definitely worth checking out if you need that clutch catching traffic receiver anyways guys that's gonna wrap up this review my final thoughts so I think he's worth 65,000 honestly you know after playing with them you know, I would have thought he would be worth like 200k or something. I mean, the, the crazy amount of catches that he was making, you know, you'd think he'd be worth more. So honestly, you know, at 65000 to me, that's just a steal. And of course, his price would just keep dropping as time goes on. Now, whether or not he's top 5 or top 10, you know, when I noticed that I was trusting him more than I was trusting, trusting Julio Jones, you know, to me, that said something. So 
it was like if it was fourth and three in a clutch game and I'd rather throw to Terrence Williams and Julio Jones, then how can I not place Williams in front of Julio Jones? So once again, so many of you guys may disagree with me, but I would rather say Terrence Williams is a better receiver for me than Julio Jones, you know, and that's just the truth of it, honestly. So I honestly feel that Terrence Williams could be, even though, yes, I have not tried, you know, so many of the big time cards coming out now, like the golden ticket, uh, Des Bryant, you know, all these big time cards, the, the uh, boss, um, Herman Moore, even though I have not tried them, technically, Terrence Williams, uh, Terrence Williams is a top five receiver in my opinion because remember, like I said, I only put receivers in my top five that I have experience with and Terrence Williams, without a doubt to me, is a top five receiver. He is not going anywhere. He is staying on my team. So anyways, guys, that's going to wrap this up. My next review on offense is going to be that draft Andrew Luck on defense. Of course, that uh, position hero, uh, Josh Norman. Those reviews should be coming out in the next few days and I'll see y'all then. Peace.